Hey guys, this is Tgazza in Roblox Studio. I thought I'd talk you through the changes to version to my uh, plugin version uh, 0.8 beta. Here we go. I've included a way of actually searching through a script for potential virus uh, names, that sort of thing. Like, let's say, for instance, this sort of thing. This would be flagged in a way because of the length of the script name itself. But let's just say we find a script like these here that just named script. They would not be flagged otherwise. So what I've done is I've made a way of actually searching through the source of the script, which is basically this, looking for potential virus names. So let's just say Let's just run a scan with the current settings with that setting off and see if it will get this these two here. And as you can see, I've got that uh, infamous uh, new attack virus. It's detecting it nicely. It's uh, sucked it up already. And as you can see, they're gone. So the two that are still remaining, the two viruses that are remaining, are the script, the viruses that are just simply named script. No, the Previous to 0.8 of my, of my plugin would not detect those, would not flag them or anything because they're uh, named just on the default script. But as soon as we toggle this search scripts for virus names to true and then run the scan again, it should flag them and then put it into its uh, quarantine, which is just, just done. The other change that I've done is you see these button things here so like as you hover over them it uh, sort of grays it, grays it out that's they're actually buttons to open up the script from within the plugin itself the if you're worried about running the script by clicking on it like that it does not run the script all it does is open up the script in the uh, studio as if you're going to edit, edit it before you run the game so I thought I had that little feature in. The upcoming features that I'm doing slowly is if I close this down and open up my better version. Uh, yeah, wait for the loading screen to load up. Is I'm hoping to get the virus database able to change it from within the plugin itself. And of course the virus name list and scan locations. Those are basically um, if I can find the actual database basically these things here like the locations are basically what you find in the workplace or in the game in your game sort of thing before the workspace so we've got workspace workspace players players etc etc all the way down they're just basically the default settings for a game where you can actually change the uh, settings like uh, you can change it here sort of thing soon i'll be able to uh, change that in a little drop down list like this so you'll be able to change whatever you want to at the moment this is not hooked up it's just a demo thing that i'm sorting out there's loads of bugs in it as you can see yeah there we go so yeah I'm slowly but surely getting the plugin out. Let's actually put for virus name length, let's put a string in there, see what happens. Oh no, it's just detected my string. <laughs> so yeah, it's ba basically slow slow progress, but I'm getting there slowly. So anyway, let's sh put that back to true and let's restore all with this new version. The, what I've been what I've uh, been asked in the past is what the restore all feature does. All it does is basically, when it finds a virus in the workspace with the initial scan, like let's say we're scanning now, like we are doing now, it will basically remember where it found the script itself, and the restore all restores it back to where it originally found it, like so. You see that? 
So that's basically all that does, it just restores it. And that's the same as the scan, uh, the options button where you've got restore. It just restores that item or that uh, object. In this case, it's a bar script, that thing. Let's close that down, close that down. Yeah, so hopefully soon I will have this operational hopefully in version 8. 0.8. Get my words right. 0.85. I'll have this all hooked up and ready. And then hopefully soon I'll have the database sorted out for version 1.0. And then I'm not too sure where I'll be going after that. So this might be it when it gets to version 1.0. Because I haven't found out, found other ways of doing it apart from a possible a live scan where you run the game and scan at the same time. At this current build, the live scanner as I was talking about does not work properly. Let's restore all these and show you what a live scan does. And I'll bet you found out what they do. So if I run the actual game, watch this output. I'm running all these viruses, I've got loads of them there. Right, here we go. Oh look, scan for virus and your value. And so let's have a look at our workspace. Right, now let's run our my plugin and see what happens. Wait for it to load. Do, do, do. Yeah, the error that you see there is basically I've added more to the database. So that if you see that from version eight uh eight point zero to the new version, which is eight point one, then you know that you've got the updated uh, database. That's all that is basically. Now this would be interesting. Running eight point zero on an eight point one database. Right, let's have a look. Scanning. It detects the actual virus, but as soon as you as it removes the virus, depends on how the virus is actually programmed, it would reinsert itself back into where it was. Right, there we go. That's the virus is doing it. So this plugin does not work that way. So the best thing to do, rather than scan and run your game at the same time is to stop the game and then run the plugin basically just do that so then your game should be clean of all viruses and I forgot to set that again close start scan and doo -doo. there we go let's have a look if we can launch up those scripts wherever they are they're here somewhere. Yeah, the infamous noob attack uh, virus. That was a little bit hard to program for, but I figured out a way of doing it. I could talk about how to do it, but it might give an insight of how I'm searching for it. So I won't say exactly how I'm doing it. <laughs> but it's in this code. Look at this code. Blimey. Can't believe I sat there and typed all that out. Already 2,000 lines. 2,400 nearly. Blimey. Anyway, this is being together in uh, Robot Studio on an update on my Guardian Angel Defender plugin. And I'll catch you guys later. Tigaza signing out.